Hello everyone, in this video I have come up with a new requirement. As you can see on my screen, uh, here is the input data of projects that is having project column, start date and end date. Suppose there are multiple projects and their start time and their end date is given. Now the requirement is to create a matrix where we want to see that timeline highlighted for those months. So suppose for project A, the start date is 1st Jan 2024, end date is 31st March. It should highlight these three columns, Jan, Feb and March. Similarly, if the project B is starting from the 1st March and ending on 31st August, so it should highlight from March till August. So this is our new requirement and I'm going to solve this using DAX. So let's jump to the Power BI desktop and see how it's done. So here we are. This is the project table. Uh, we have four projects and their start date and end date. So let's talk about the solution. We'll have to create a date range between the start date and end date. So basically we'll have to repeat these three rows for the dates between start date and end. So let's see how it's done in DAX. So I'm going to create a new table. Let's name it as new project table and I'm going to use generate function. What does generate do? Generate takes two tables as an input and it cross joins the two tables and returns the cross join product. So in the first table, I'm going to give project and in the second table, I'm going to give calendar table as an input parameter which will contain start date and end dates from the project table so let's write calendar and here in the start date I'm going to give start date of project table and end date from the project table so so this has given me a cross join table so if I sort this by date so it has repeated these three rows for the dates between start date and end date. Now what we can do is we can create a new column for month because we'll have to highlight the month values in the metric. So we are going to create a month column using format date function. Here I'm going to take date and I'll format yyy ymm. So this will return the year and month. So now let's go to the visual and here I will add a matrix project start date in the rows and end date in the rows. And I'm going to expand this and I'm going to add month in column. Let's format this a little. So I'll go to format pane. I will for column headers let Let's increase it to 15 for row headers also let's increase it to 15 let's turn off the plus minus and let's turn off the step layout so that it comes in the column if I add project column in the values project 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 so let's turn off the total as well so let's turn off columns of total rows of total and values I will make this a white so as you can see, uh, for this, uh, the, this project is repeating for these three months for this value. Let's right click and make it, make it count distinct so that it will give me one as a value. And now we can do conditional formatting. So right click and condition formatting the background color. So, uh, here it should be rules, uh, count of project. Uh, if the count of project is equal to one. And this should be number. Then I will give a yellow color and click on OK. Now uh, I will have to hide this one as well. So again, I will right click and condition formatting uh, for the font color. And again, I will give the same thing equal to one. And this should be number and this should be yellow. Click on OK. So it's, so this is how we create this timeline chart. So let me know in the comment if you like the video and do not forget to subscribe my channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.